Hello. Okay, Aidan. Hey. Hello, hello. <laughs> well done for coming second in the uh, multinational final. How was that experience for you? Um, uh, it's been an amazing journey so far. Um, it's been a very, very nice experience, of course. I, uh -huh. placed, I placed second uh, um, with, the, with the televote, second with the jury, second overall. Um, uh, since since the Multi Eurovision, I've had uh, a lot of supporters supporting me, and okay. I, I've had the, them uh, supporting like all my music. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's been it's been an amazing ride. Have you been quite surprised about how like Eurovision fans absolutely love Rip? Yes, yes, totally, totally surprised. Um, mostly because of uh, the song being in the Maltese language. I did not expect um, that reaction. Yeah. Um, still to this day, I still don't believe how how people are trying to learn um, the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've been receiving a lot of messages, video messages from people around the world. Yeah. Um, uh, trying to sing my song Ritmo, um, uh, which honestly it fulfills me. Uh, it means a lot. Um, I've seen you at one of the preview parties. Was it London? I think you've been to a few, right? Did you go to a London preview party? Yes, I've been to London. I've been to Sweden. Right. So I saw um, the live recording of that. How did it feel? Like I assume a lot of people in the crowd were British singing your song back to you. Yeah. Um, uh, it was that was um, an experiment which we tried. Yeah. We said like a lot of people seem to know the song. Uh huh. They should join me while while I'm singing the song while I'm performing. Um, so it was an experiment. Again, I did not expect. Um, there were a couple of hundred people, hundreds, yeah. hundreds of people, um, and as soon as I, I gave them the microphone, they were like, <laughs> "Ritmo, ritmo." <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. British crowd knowing your song must be yeah. amazing. Yeah. We're gonna try it tonight as well. Okay, amazing. So, um, yeah. um, so I saw the Maltese charts. Your song is doing so well in the Maltese charts. Yeah, um, it's been it's been uh, at the top position for a month now uh -huh. after the Malta Eurovision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which means it's been the most played song in Malta. Okay. Um, from all the songs that are coming out from Malta, basically, um, and it's been at the top position for for a whole month. Obviously, that's that that's an awesome news. Of course. Um, uh, also, Denise's song is in the top ten. Yeah. Um, last week it was in five, I think, fifth or sixth. Yeah. Um, which I'm also proud of because I wrote it myself. Someone, I didn't know that. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah. Someone only told me that like two or three days ago. <laughs> I actually had I actually had five songs in the okay. Eurovision. Yeah. All oh, right. Wow. Including Ritmo. So. Okay. So. Uh, so that's curious then. So if you were involved in other songs, why did you choose Ritmo? Okay, so I wrote Ritmo for myself. Okay. And I wrote the other songs for the other artists. Okay. Um, I'm not one to to like write a song, leave it in, in, in the wardrobe, and then whenever someone approaches me, I, I just tell them, here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not how, how I think music should be. Sure. Um, I think music is very, especially um, since someone approaches you um, uh, for, for a song, that's their baby, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to be specific for them, for their voice, you know? It needs to be catered for them. Um, uh, but yeah, I, 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 I wrote Ritmo for Eurovision, I wrote Ritmo for myself, um, it was intentional for Eurovision, um, intentional to be in Maltese, so... Amazing. Final question, future yeah. for Aiden after all of these like, okay, Eurovision so after all this, parties? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I will be releasing uh, Ritmo in Spanish. Amazing. Fully in Spanish. Okay. Um, uh, I, I, I received a lot of support from the from the Spanish fans. Okay. So so it's like I want to give them something back. Sure, sure. And I think um, Ritmo um, uh, will be will be the, will be the perfect gift okay. for them. Um, I'm also working on new music. Okay. I'm trying to explore new stuff, new new styles and and genres. Um, yeah, basically that. As you said, as we said earlier, I'm a singer-songwriter, so I'm writing songs all day, basically. Actually, actually, this is this is just exclusive for this interview. Okay. Um, uh, I wrote I wrote two songs while on the plane while coming to Madrid. So okay. So yeah, very impressive. <laughs> Um, first of all, thank you very much for doing this interview. Thanks and second so of all, I really hope you come back for the Maltese National Final next year. It would be great to see Aidan representing Malta. So thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.